We begin with breaking news now on 10TV News at 4 on 10TV+. Plus. The battle over the controversial transgender health care and women's sports bill took a turn today. I'm Angela Ann. And I'm Doug Petcash in for Yolanda. Just a couple hours ago, a Franklin County judge granted an extension to the temporary restraining order blocking a ban on gender-affirming care for minors. Judge Michael Holbrook told me this afternoon the extension runs through May 20th. Judge Holbrook initially blocked House Bill 68 from taking effect two weeks ago. That temporary restraining order was set to expire today. The law was set to take effect on April 24th. He says the hearing on the permanent injunction will take place over two days on May 16th and 17th. The plaintiffs and the state will each be able to present arguments. He hopes to have a decision by May 20th. House Bill 68 bans transgender surgeries and hormone therapies for minors and bans transgender girls and women from competing in women's and girls' school sports. Holbrook said in a written opinion on April 16th that it's likely the law violates a requirement that state legislation deal with a single subject. The ACLU and ACLU of Ohio sued on behalf of two families. Their lawsuit alleges the law denies transgender minors health care and specifically discriminates against their accessing it. Supporters say the bill protects children from permanent harm. Attorney General Dave Yost also filed an emergency motion with the Ohio Supreme Court. That motion argues that Judge Holbrook overstepped his authority because his order applies to the entire state and not just the two plaintiffs the ACLU sued on behalf of. A spokesperson for the Supreme Court says there is no specific time for a response to Yost's motion. Judge Holbrook says he has heard nothing yet from the Supreme Court, so he is proceeding with the case.